Hey everyone and welcome to today's ENTP body language reading session. Yes, today you'll be learning about the secrets of the ENTP personality type. We'll be taking a look at their special gesture styles and we'll take a look at how they speak and we'll take a look at their facial expressions, how they smile and how they gaze. And I should say a disclaimer, I don't type people based on physical features or based on gender or stereotype. And I'm not typing people based on racial or uh, eth ethnical traits. It's all about how you smile, how you look and how you talk. Now, I believe we talk and speak and act differently because of our personality type. Because we have a different consciousness, a different way of thinking and approaching the world. And a different way of cognitively processing information. We look at the world differently, we perceive it differently and we experience it differently. Now... I'll try to describe some of the brief ENTP expressions. In basic, ENTPs tend to be described as open-minded, adaptive, curious, inventive, analytical. We tend to describe them as smart. We tend to see them as tactical. We tend to see them as diplomatic, warm, goofy. We tend to describe them as uh, a little cocky and intimidating and strong and in a sense assertive. Um, they tend to have this strong attitude of, I can do it. Uh, we tend to also look at them as kind of opportunity oriented, as people scouting out and making connections and seeing where things are leading. And as detectives, of a, in a sense, of the word. And um, the way I see it, the things you want to look for is, first of all, an open-minded gaze, an adaptive gaze, an unfocused gaze, a gaze that is more specific broad and open-eyed, dual-eyed look. Now, you'll also be looking for, for example, a tendency to, in a relaxed way, tense up the brows and the forehead, giving them a more active and more perceptive look, and they will have a, this relaxed and uh, uh, activation also typically around the outer eyes and around the brow areas in particular, giving them this extroverted and perceiver style of looking and gazing upon the world. Now, this activation tends to be relaxed rather than concentrated. The ENTP does not have a focused gaze. The ENTP has a broad and collecting and adaptive gaze. The ENTP does not have a restless gaze. They do not look restless. They don't look amped. They don't look like they're hooked on stereo steroids. They look like they are rather curious and rather inventive and rather like they're reasoning and thinking about what they're seeing as they see it. Yes, they're constantly processing and intuiting on what they hear around them. The ENTP has a relaxed activation of the upper lip muscles in their smile. When they smile, when they talk, they have a persuasive quality of trying to sell an idea or trying to market something or trying to give an impression of something. And often this smile tends to look a little uncomfortable or a little unsure, like, yeah, I'm smiling, but... Um, I don't look so passionate in my smile as an INFJ would, for example. Uh, beyond this, ENTPs uh, tend to have a strong activation of these muscles around this area in the sense of a, st a strong like face, in a sense, rather than a relaxed face. They don't look affectionate when they talk. They look rather cold and calm and collected, like they are analytical and objective about the situation. Beyond this... ENTPs tend to push out their outer jaws in a tense manner. They tend to lock their jaws in position, signaling that they're not open to changing their mind. Yeah, they're not, they're argumentative types. They're types that like advancing and testing an argument, but they're not bartering, they're not switching sides. They're, they, have a, they look as if they have a set opinion. This is my argument. I have it figured out. I've got it. I have this argument. And when they use this, these muscles a lot, they will look more passionate. When they use these muscles, they will look less passionate, more dispassionate. Now, you, what you will be looking for here is in particular IF. And this is an inferior function in the ENTP. So typically this uh, use of the, uh, these uh, shin muscles will be more understanding. ENTPs have an understanding gaze. They look as if they're trying to figure out what they're saying and if it's true or not. Uh, they have a resonating expression, an understanding gesture. But often this... Understanding gesture tends to look a little discomfortable or uncomfortable, like they understand but they don't really want to, in a sense. Now, 
with the gestures, what you'll be looking for is adaptive gestures, collecting information, grabbing information around them. They're extroverts. They want information from their environment, not from within. And you'll also be looking at uh, a weighing gesture emotion. And when they weigh gestures and information, their finger movements tend to be precise and logical rather than free flow. Their palm and wrist movements tend to be rather fluid and relaxed, but their uh, fingers will remain precise and focused in motion. Uh, when looking at uh, their, their uh, grabbing motions overall, it's like a circular pattern. It's a harmonious pattern. Uh, they're not trying to grab physical information. They're not rough in their gestures like an ESTP would be. Now with the voice, the general qualities that I can think of are first an objective and impartial voice. They don't seem affectionate while they talk like an ENFP or ENFJ would. Beyond this, uh, a kind of sharp voice in their consonants and in their endings of sentences. They tend to have abrupt endings of sentences and uh, a kind of uh, warm speaking pattern. They speak with a warm voice, a warm storytelling voice. Now, this voice tends to be quite uh, bouncy in the pattern of the voice, like, doo -doo 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 -doo, <laughs> like up and down, a uh, little unpredictable in this, uh, arrhythmical quality, I think to say. So it's a bouncy voice that goes up and down rather than my voice that goes more slowly up and slowly down. And yeah, these are the base ENTP gestures. Let me know if you resonated with any of these in the comments down below. And feel free to let me know if you've identified any particular ENTP expressions that you think are very ENTP. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys tomorrow.